Hey guys, I'm back. Thank you for tuning in. Just getting ready to do my hair and for a change, I'm gonna just do it on camera. You know, it's not a anything fancy, but I am going to be using my banana clip. I've had my hair like this literally for three days straight. Went to sleep with it like this, woke up with it like this. All I would do is just maybe bump my edges if I wanted to and I'm, I'm out the door. But um, I wanna do something else with my hair. It needs to be washed. Let me see, how do I have this wrapped? Anyway, it needs to be washed and I figured, well, I'm gonna give it one last go because I do still have some definition. I wanted to play around with the definition from those twists that I have been wearing for a few weeks. So this is the Puff Cuff Junior. Yeah, this is a Puff Cuff Junior. And how do I have it in? Okay. All right, let's see what we got. My hair is still moisturized, y'all, for real. This hair gel, and I think any whole gel might do the same thing. But this Twin Olives, I got it for 99 cents at Family Dollar. Um, it acts a lot like an Eco Styler type gel. It actually locked in that moisture from the Melanin Hair Care. What did I have? I did Melanin Hair Care and I did um, my Cantu Leave-In. And then I just put this on to as a styler to twist. And my hair has been just very lush and everything. And it lasted all these weeks. All these weeks I even checked I'm like nope I'm not gonna put add anything oils or nothing like that okay I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna start playing around with my hair and see how many styles I could come up with using this banana clip and hopefully one of those looks will resonate this style if I'm in the mood for this style as a tip when you are trying to fluff out your hair what I do when it's all separated I do a lot of this I do a lot of that um I mean not when it's all separated when it's all like clumped together I do a lot of that you know I'll just take the pieces and just do this and then I'll do that as well I don't know if I'm feeling this look. It's simple enough, it's out of the way and all that. And you see, I didn't use a brush or anything like a big brush. I just really wanted to lightly lay the edges. And so I used my little trusty, dusty, little dirty um, to uh, toothbrush. And then just have a little pump in the front. And then I tend to do one of these numbers like if I just wanted to be a natural looking hairline, that's what I do. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, but I really love a banana clip for these types of hairstyles. Uh, let me see, I'm not quite feeling that for today though. I've even worn banana clips to have like my afro towards the front. Let me try that. And this is not an afro, so it might be, <laughs> it might not do what I, I want it to do. 
squishing it on towards the front. Now I could opt to either put the banana clip like this or like that. Let's try this way first. By the way, this is a small banana clip, or like the medium size. I think they get even smaller. This is not the longest clip. This is more of like a mini clip. And I like these if I want my hair to feel like really taut and in place. This is cute. And you can also achieve the same sort of look with a puff cuff. The difference is, though, um, if you want the hair to cascade down like this and just have like this even flow of cascadation, you would use the um, banana clip in that way, even though like with the puff cuff, your hair is hanging down, if the wind blows, it's gonna come back into this style with a banana clip. A puff cuff or a band, you might have to judge it a little bit for it to lay the way you want it. But this is what I have here. Don't think I'm going for this look either, but I do love, you know, I'm gonna remember you. I haven't worn this particular angle in a while, I don't think. Okay, and so and if you wanted to I hope you can see that while I'm I don't know my little setup is kind of tight and like if you wanted to do something extra you could always roll or you know do something real funky with it you know dress it up tuck and you know you're done you're out the door if you want that I like mine like this it doesn't have to be perfect but I like that and then whatever little extras like if you want to take out can I pull some out without it being a situation? Yeah. So if you want to take some out and maybe twirl them around, you could do that. Just play with it. And put on like a fancier earring or something or, you know, some sort of a like hair decoration. Then you have an uh, elevated look uh, for any occasion. But of course I like mine to be kind of wild and like, bam. Okay, so that was the front way. Um, there's, it was the other way I was talking about. Oh. Even if you push, the, pull the hair back like this or down. If there's so many different ways and it, it's like the same style but different looks. And so I remember twisting my hair out just for the sake of, let me get it straight. Let me get it straight. So let me see. Where's my signature look? I think I have a couple signature looks with this. Uh, let me see. Yeah, and a lot of people would say, well, I don't have, you know, I don't know how to d put a um, banana clip in my hair. It just tangles all up. No, you got to make like you're doing a ponytail. And then you put it in. And so I'm going to put it in this way. And I don't mind it to cascade. You see how I'm sort of letting it go? I don't mind it cascading down. And now I got a side ponytail. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. I love this. This is, um, these banana clips, I'm telling you, you can get a gazillion little like hairstyles out of these banana clips. Plus you can save your wash and goes and your, um, twist outs, braid outs, bantu night outs, like you can get a couple, you know, some more life, a few more days out of them with this. They're, they just, they're lifesavers. Like imagine you have some kind of special event that you want to attend and you're like, oh my goodness, I don't have time to whatever, redo my hair, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Let me tell you, tape and paint will make it what it ain't. You know that slogan, which I'm not necessarily totally subscribed to, but Who's going to know, right? You got an old twist out or your hair is in twist. You, you had your mind set on something else, but you can, you know, with this, you can kind of start feeling another vibe easily. I think I might wear this style for the day. I might, oh yeah, I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling this one. This is, this is one of my go-to looks. It ain't all the way in my face, but it's giving me that cascade effect. And you see how the hair is in there. And then I let some of it out. So I'm not holding it all in a bun, a circle, or a ponytail, if you will. And then if you want it to cascade more, it gives the illusion. You know, it's like this big old thing of hair. And it gives the illusion of more length when you let the hair just 
fall. All right, so let me do one, one, maybe two more. more options. I don't know. Let's see what we can get out of this. Um, oh, I have another go-to. Oh, let me take off these bracelets. This is my Citrine Amethyst Green Aventurine for Prosperity. Abundance, Prosperity, Crystals. Mm. Okay, enough of that. That is not what this channel is about. Okay. This is my other look. It's very similar to the first one. It's a mesh between the first one and the one I just took down. And it just cascades all the way down. And I just make sure that when I'm gathering the hair, I am pulling it with the intention of it going back like this. So I'm not bunching it all up so like a ponytail, but it's hard to explain. I'm just making sure and being very careful that I'm pulling the hair back based on how I want it to fall. And I tend to bring it up a little bit more. It's like a, it's a partial fro hawk or faux hawk. Okay, now you see how I have it. Let me turn around carefully. Let me place my banana clip there. It's placed. Let me see if I can show you like this. Okay, now, this is what I'm doing. This is the technique. Zoom in. You see how I'm letting some of it slide? I'm letting some of it come down before I lock it in place. Some, not all, just some, because I want this to be like a tail. So I want it to all like to give that illusion that it's this long, flowing ponytail. And then I'm just taking the hair that's gathered and I am just moving it down so that it's all like one long, flowing piece. Now, what you do afterwards, you know, you look in the mirror and just make sure, you know, look in the back and make sure that it's flowing the way you want it. If not, you just undo. Let me see if I can turn around. Undo, shake the hair some. Or if it's too tight, same thing. And make sure all the hair is falling just how you want it. Real easy, simple. And then if you wanna lay the edges and stuff, you can do that the traditional way. Now I would I really want this to be uh you know further, but we're not gonna we ain't gonna belabor it. It's just show and tell. Look see. And you see how I just want like a natural lay. So I'm taking the gel and I'm spreading it out sort of and I'm just and usually before I lay my edges, like if I'm really doing a lay like this, I start back here because I want a lot of the product back there because that's where a lot of flyaways. I already know I'm gonna handle this up front, right? You can do use your rat tail comb, but I like to do one of these numbers. And I'll either leave it and let you know nature take its course or I will tie it up depending on how psh, I want it but yeah it's a little lopsided okay wait that's a little better yeah but I just like that whole like thing of hair just coming down the back that's one of this is also one of my go-to's I like to do this one when I'm wearing you know how I used to do the loose twist I used to do the eight twist like natural 85 with the effortless beach wave curls I would just wash my hair while I'm in the shower I would do eight twists then wrap them around my head and after they dry take them down and I would have like this real fluffy flowy you know like billowy waves and I would usually pull it back in this and it was just be so like soft looking and you know what I'm talking about boho I love a boho so yeah so that's that this is, I don't even have names for these. This is just me playing around. And this, I call this actually, I'm sorry, cascading ponytail. This one and the one that I had off to the side just before them, I call it cascade. The other ones, I don't know what to call it. Side ponytail, 
half up, half down, sort of. And then here's another one that I have done, but I typically only do this if the hair is not going to be too in my face, you know, or if I want it in my face, don't mind it, and it's not going to get on my nerves. Make sure it's like, and I just take the banana clip. I had to think about it each time. Just take the banana clip. And boom. This thing is a life saver. You can definitely get away with this with shorter to medium length hair because this, your hair won't be all in your face the same way. But if you have longer length, you can still do this look. Some people uh, consider this like a, some kind of a mohawk look. I might have it too far towards the front. I don't know. I ain't quite feeling this, but you get the gist. Um, like for me, I'm not going to want to mess around with this. I'm not going to want to do this. It's got to be simple. It got to be easy. Um, but if you just want this look, get you some hair pins, pin it, and then you can give yourself some fake bangs. Boom, like that. And maybe one day I will be into it. <laughs> I kind of like that part right there. Let me turn around so y'all can see everything. I don't know about this one. I might maybe do it off to the side. You know, if you want like that funky. Yeah, more like this. Matter of fact, let me see. Let's see. You messed around and got it caught up. Okay. Yeah, just be real careful. I mean, it doesn't snag by nature, but if you're not careful, anything will. Do a little off to the side like that and see how it looks. Oh, okay. Almost similar to how I had it earlier but a little bit different because of how i look 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 you see the potential i'm so glad we're having this talk you guys <laughs> but you see the potential if you don't mind your hair in your face psh, psh, there you go that's it okay let me turn to the side we're gonna see how this puppy looks off to the side you know I can't see nothing, but you what you do is you fix it. You fix it how you want. If you gotta put some pins in there to give you that that look, then you put your pins in there. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and these styles you can get away with with medium, short medium and long hair and the only reason i say medium short is because this you want to be able to cover those sins up like i don't want anybody seeing this that's why i don't understand why they make banana clips in all these different colors don't nobody want to see your banana clip that's like showing your bra well some people show their bra but you know what i mean it's like that's just the odd design for people to see. You know, I, I mean, I guess that's not too bad like that. But if you don't have something at least covering something, this front and back aesthetically is, you know, it's just going to probably look weird. Unless, what, what can you do? You could, you could, you could add embellishments to your banana clip. You could do that. You can do that. You can use a smaller banana clip because I forgot that they do make them smaller. Back in the day in the 80s, when I was in high school, <laughs> um, banana clips were out and people were wearing them and I was just like, mm. and I wore the same style, that same side style and the same cascading style that I told you were my signature looks. I wore those when I was in high school. 
and um the but, but the banana clips were bigger than this they were a little bit longer this one is just below that longer one and then they have i stumbled upon some smaller ones somewhere and i was like oh okay you know so it is doable yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and rock and roll with my side puff i mean my side pony the cascade do I need more gel? Probably not, but I am having a good time here. It does not have to be tight. Nope, it does not have to be tight. Let me just slide you in place. Don't start. Don't, you do it. Do me a favor and share this video. We all just want to get this done. We all just doing the best that we can. We want to get this done and look cute at the same time without spending years on doing our hair. Hair is supposed to be fun and easy and it is, that's all, that's it. So go ahead and share the video. Sharing is caring. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe and hit the notification bell twice so that you can get the notifications as soon as I upload, okay? Until the next video, you guys, live simply and be kind.